everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very mammoth haul to show you now. I'm going to say this now. This is stuff that I have bought probably maybe since the end of February all the way up to August. So I haven't bought this all in one go. <laughs> um, I have bought it over many months and I have used quite a bit of it already. Um, but I just thought I would come and show you. So a lot of this is going to be art stuff, but it is also things that I do use in my colouring books as well. So I do use watercolour paints quite a lot in my colouring books. And I do have a few colouring books to show as well. I don't have that many actually, because I haven't really bought very many this year. Um, I got gifted one for my birthday, which you've seen in the last haul video. And then I think in total, <laughs> I've bought like for myself this year just for um there are a few more that i am thinking about getting though so i may get those we will see anyway as you can see it's a rather large collection of things so i'm going to move some things to the side and i will show you swatches of the paints that i have as well um because some of them i might have swatch cards inside the palettes but some of them i might not so the ones i don't um I will show you which the gouache paints won't so the gouache paints I will show you um, in my swatch book for those so where to start is the question because we have many things <laughs> um, so I think bef I will move some of this out of the way but I'm going to start with this so I got this not so long ago and this is called a paint puck I got it on Amazon and basically you can take this bit off you can take this bit off and it's plastic. I thought it was glass. It's plastic. I think it was about £20. Um, and basically, as you can see here, I currently have some paintbrushes that are drying in here. So you can put your paintbrushes in here to dry. Um, it's got a really rough texture in the bottom. So I bought it primarily to use with my gouache paints because I find it really hard to get the gouache paint out of the paintbrushes. So um, I can rub it on the bottom and it will get the paint off and then I can stick it on here to dry. This is just to catch excess water, I believe. Um, but it's great and I, I, you can fill it up. So I take this bit off to put the water in and to empty it out. And then you can actually put paintbrushes in here as well, which is cool. I've not done that. Um, I have also this paintbrush you've seen before, but these paintbrushes here are new. <laughs> I did buy them. Um, in the last few months. So I got this big one here first, this Roman Schmall 10. Um, and then I wanted a replacement brush for this one. This is a Karen Dash one that I got with my gouache paints ages ago, like years ago. But it's starting to like get a bit loose. So I thought I'd buy a new one. So I really liked this brush so much that I got this one, which is again another Roman Schmall, but this is size 8. And it is a synthetic squirrel, so... These are not like, they haven't got real fur in, but I got them when they were on sale on Jackson's. They had a Roman Schmall sale and so I managed to pick up both of these for, I don't know how much, but they were under £10, so not too bad. Um, they're probably not like the best watercolour brushes in the world, but I quite like them personally for the price. I think they do quite well, so I would say if you're wanting to get some decent watercolour brushes and not one to spend a fortune try the Roman Schmall ones especially when they do sales they're quite good so um next <laughs> we can go to my Roman Schmall travel palette that I got so this is an urban sketch one I think I might have the box hold on a second um oh and I, that reminds me huh, as I get the box I missed um some paint out so good thing I went in the drawer. So this is the box that it came in. Um, so this is the Aquarius Urban Sketching uh, Roman Schmall um, palette. And it tells you these are the paints that come in it. Let's put it the right way around. So you get Quin, Quinfalion Yellow. No idea how you say that. Pyrrole Scarlet, Quinacridone Magenta, Ultramarine Intense, Blue Sky, Shadow Grey, Sap Green, Light, Aquarius Green, Buff Titanium, Gold Ochre, Italian Burnt Sienna, and Cypress Burnt Umber Deep. That is a mouthful of a name, isn't it? So there's some nice colours in here, and the good news is that actually there's space in the palette to fit some more, so I have done that, because they now sell half pans. So this is one that I'm intending to take when I go out and about and travel and things. So I have used it a little bit. 
Um, so the paints that I have bought that are not in this set is this orange one. I think it's Aquarius Orange. This is Mineral Violet, Ocean Blue and I can't remember this one. It's like Sea Blue or Cobalt, Cobalt Turquoise, something like that. Um, so I bought those and here's the swatch card of obviously the paints. They are quite nice. And then I can just show you in here. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. So I have got space to fit um, two more paints here and then three here. I'm just not sure what colours I want yet because obviously the idea is that I will also mix my own colours. So I think what I'm going to have to do is test this with the colours I have in it currently and then work my way. Now, I didn't want an orange quite this bright, but it was the only orange I could get that I liked that was in the half pan because not all of these, um, they mostly come in a full pan not all the full pan colours are available in half pan, so I could only get mineral violet and not the regular diazine violet. Like I couldn't get that one. And I just happened to like ocean blue and that colour. So that was my reason for buying those because I just like the colours. So it's quite a nice little tin, your standard tin that you get. And it's nice that this is like quite flat to like mix in as well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using that in my future, you know, colourings. Colourings? paintings hmm. that makes more sense um right so next i finally now have all of these gouache paints so these are the iridori range of paints that own um to do with the season so i had the spring one i've now got the summer one which i think i got from jackson's um so those are the colors that i will show you the swatches in a second so that's the summer one and I have used some of the paints. I haven't used all of them. This is the winter one, which I did get from Amazon Japan because it was a little bit cheaper on there. Um, so I got the winter. And that's got a nice range of paints in there as well. And then finally, I have got the autumn one, which, oh my goodness, I'm just knocking things over, which I got um, in another Jackson sale. There was a whole buying sale and this had £10, I think maybe just over £10 off it. And I just thought, you know what, this is the last one I needed to get. Even though I just, I think, got the winter set and I wasn't looking to buy or spend <laughs> lots of money. I thought I had to get it because I didn't know when this would come on sale again. And I can't get it on Amazon Japan, which is a little bit cheaper. Because sometimes they don't send things to the UK, like it's available to buy but they don't send everything to the UK. And unfortunately, this one was not available to send to the UK. So I have the lovely autumn palette there and I will just show you. If you give me two seconds, I'm gonna put these back where they live. Down, oh, I'm just whacking the camera as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put those back where they live so that I can show you the swatches. So if I put that back in the drawer there. So let me go to my Holbein swatches. Holbein gouache. Oh, here it is. So, um, the spring set is obviously this one here, which I already had. So summer it goes from here. So with these two colours here, and then you've got all of these ones and these two as well. So the nice colour selection. I quite like the blues and the greens are quite nice. And then winter is these ones. So quite a lot more darker colours. And again, some interesting shades of blue and green. We've got this kind of interesting pink. I liked this grey and then this blue here. And then we also have like a gold. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the metallic ones, but it's okay. Um, autumn. I really quite like the palette of the autumn ones. Some very nice like green shades, yellow and orange shades. So, And then I think we got another metallic one there as well. So those are some of the colours, well actually those are all the colours in all the sets, so I have all of them. Um, I do feel in some ways I need to re-swatch this so it's actually in colour order as well. I probably will do that at some point because I also have got some single um, regular gouache as well. What I mean by regular as in it's just not part of that range. You can buy the Iridori ones separately now on Jackson's, they do have them individually like these tubes here which is really cool because I didn't know that you could buy them separately so that's great so if there's any colours I run out of I can always buy them but I thought the sets so regularly they're £64 um, and I thought that was quite good for the money because it's 15 millilitres plus I now have a good range of colours so I did buy some other ones so I got this grey number one and again I'll show you the swatches once I've shown you what colours I got got grey number one 
I've got some more permanent white so I could do more mixing. I have a little permanent white in that little set I got for Christmas that I showed you in a previous haul. I've got dark green, then rose violet, uh, Jean Brilliant number one, sepia, uh, grey number three, Smalt blue, um, pure blue, aqua blue. Oh my goodness, they're all gonna fall off. Um, cypress green and turquoise green. So I tried to go for colours that I didn't have within the sets that I had. So um, from here, oh sorry, let me see. So all of these here all the way yeah all of them all the way up to the white these all came in a set that i got the pink one did not come in the set um and i accidentally bought that again by the way not realizing i had already got the pink so now i have two lots of pink it's fine i will use it but it's just a bit like damn i could have had a different color so this one i got um separately at christmas and then i thought it was still a bit pink so i then did get a brilliant pink which maybe Maybe I did buy in this round of paints. I'll show it to you anyway. Here, here you go, here's brilliant pink. <laughs> I thought um, perhaps I hadn't bought it already, but maybe I did. I'm just gonna put all the gouache paints back in the drawer to save some space, because they don't actually live in that box. I just put them in there to make it easier. So let me just pop them all in there and then I can show you the colors a bit better. There we go. Tidying up as I go along. So there's the new colors. And I quite like them. That smalt blue is really nice. Um, yeah, and because I have that grey in the other set, which was kind of in between these two, that's why I didn't get the grey number two. Maybe I will get that one as well. But for now, I've just gone for those. So I got a nice colour range. So I do think I am going to re-swatch these out so that they are all <laughs> in actual colour order. Because at the moment, it's really difficult trying to work out which shade I want because they're all not quite ne like all the reds, for example, are next to each other. So it's like, which shade of red do I want? Plus, if I want to buy new colours, then I can work out which shades I don't have. So that's those. Um, right. We'll do these. Oh no, we'll do those in a little bit. So I did decide to buy some Rosa Gallery watercolour paints because I had bought a few singles, which you know of from when I had them at Christmas and I had them in that little tin. So I decided I actually really quite like them and they're really very affordable. So I thought it'd be quite nice to get like a set. And I was able to get a set which came in this tin and only had one repeated one, which was Indithrine Blue. So I managed to find a set of, of the Rosa Gallery paints that I didn't have most of the colours. So I was rather proud of myself that I only had one repeating one. So go me. And then I did buy some singles as well. Um, so I really like this colour. I think sometimes you can choose what colour tin but this one came in this one so this is an empty one that I bought on cult pens and this one I could choose to either have in this color or this color but I, I like this color more than this one so I decided to go for that so it does come with a nice swatch card so here are the swatches I do have colors that obviously didn't come in the with in the set in here so what I have done is rearranged the colors so they're in the order that I like um, which no doubt I will end up changing as I add. I've got space in that other tin <laughs> for some more, so it may change. So there was there are some new colours actually, some new granulating ones. So this magenta grey is a granulating one, although it doesn't look that granulated to me personally. And then this is the uh, green is also a new one, and I got these from Ken Bromley Art Supplies. The set I bought I got from there, and I think some of the individual paints are also bought from there. You can buy these individually and set on cult pens as well. Um, so there are a few more places that are starting to sell the Rose Gallery paints. You can get some on Amazon. And my local art shop actually sells these open stock. I don't think they've got the new colours, but they do have the regular ones, which is quite nice. So they have some really nice colours that I really like um, in here. And unfortunately, these two should be the other way around, but oh well. <laughs> I think they are, They I can't remember if they are in here the other way around. Not sure well um anyway so as you can see i have used them i've used these loads in my coloring books and they are four pans um which is really nice they do come in tubes as well which you could then put in half pans if you want so i have mixed them a little bit and um, this is quite nice because it lies quite flat 
so it doesn't get in the way. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy these. And I think if you want some good paints for, to use in your colouring books that don't cost a lot of money and you get good value for money, I actually really recommend these Rosa Gallery ones. And they are also made in Ukraine. So you're helping Ukraine out, which is nice. <laughs> which is quite cool that they are still making things, new paints and all despite what's going on there and I thought that was really amazing so I really like these and then this is the other one I have so as I said I bought this tin separately from Colt Pens I think it was about 20 pounds I can't remember how much I paid for these maybe 40 for the set I think there was 28 that came in it I can't really remember so I made my own swatch card so as you can see I've got space for one two three four five six more um so I probably will those extra six if I decide to buy any other ones probably won't end up being in the right place I may redo it I just I really like the watercolor paper that came with that one so yeah these are really nice I like the earth tones are quite nice so they are just popped in there so as you can see I've got plenty of space to fit some more so these tins are really good as well because you can have three rows and then obviously that one's a shame they haven't done that in there but if you get this set or the small tin these are quite good if you want to get your own paints and you do have half pans because you can actually fit quite a lot in there in here if you have half pans you can fit twice as many as the full pan so these are actually really good if you want to put your own paints in and you want to fit more than you know what you're given the only downside is for some reason i have to really slam this lid hard to get this to shut because it keeps opening with the um with the card there we go if i slam it it will be fine and it doesn't pop up but it is a bit annoying that it does that so i'm just going to pop these back on top of my shelf where they live i i think i'm gonna have to like um refigure out where I'm going to store my paints because at the moment they're just kind of stacked on top of my shelf and I'm very worried they're all going to slide off <laughs> so I'm going to have to like just try and figure out where and how to store them better I think and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that as of yet <laughs> anyway um so let me just move those over so I decided because I want to get I've got my watercolour sketchbooks, but they're A5, so I wanted something a bit bigger but um, to practice on. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money on like really expensive paper, because 100% cotton watercolour paper is very expensive. So I found this um, Fabriano one, it's 25% cotton, and then I think celluloid probably is the rest of it. Um, it's by Fabriano and I got it on Amazon. I think I got it for about £13. So you get 20 sheets and it's glue bound. So it's a block. So it's all glue bound around there. And you have like a little space here which you can put like a knife in and then you can take it off. So basically it just makes it easier to paint because it holds it. So it's quite a rough texture, which is fine. Um, so I have done one painting on here, which I've put somewhere else. Um, so I have tried it out. And it's not too bad, actually. So um, I think this will be good for me to practice on. And it is a bit smaller than I was thinking it was going to be because I did think it would be a bit bigger. But it's quite a nice, like, little one to have. So I've got that one. Oh, my goodness. As I'm trying to put it away, trying to knock everything off. <sighs> right. So um, I finally got this schminker set now i don't think i've shown this to you part of me feels like i have shown it to you but i don't think i have so <laughs> apologies if you've seen this before um but i don't think you have seen it um so they had this for black friday and i did want it at the time but decided not to and i got a different one and then they had this on sale again and it was like 40 something pounds and I thought that's too good a deal and I really really love the tin I primarily wanted the tin more than anything so I do have some duplicate colors in here um across my other sets I think I had like three colors that were the same so I have taken them out and I this is more of a floral palette that I've created so um, my intention is to use it for florals and things like that so these are all the colors that I have some of these were colors I had already and then some of these, I think I did purchase purchase a few 
of these separately so again this is why i'm like trying to remember i feel like i've already filmed this but apologies if you're seeing it again i'm just gonna quickly show you so here you go here's all the beautiful colors inside you have got space for a paintbrush it is annoying that you can't fit any more in the middle because i would add even more colors but i can't because i can't fit any more in there which is really annoying but it's a really pretty tint and i really like it so yes i'm rather pleased of that one okay put it in there um, it's very, very pretty and I like it. Right, so there's that one. Okay, um, next I bought these Daniel Smith um, Jean Haynes Master Art Set um, because <laughs> miraculously this was actually a really awesome price. So usually this is about £74 and on Cass Arts, I think I had... I was thinking I was going to get this and I was quite happy to pay the price it usually is. And I think I was just having a look on Amazon and Jackson's just to see and compare the prices. And then I think I just decided I'd type it in Google. And when I did that, it came up with it on Casa and it was on sale and it was like £56, something like that. I can't remember specifically, but it was definitely well over £10 cheaper than what it normally is so I was like oh my gosh I have to because I wasn't intending to buy it at that time but I thought I have to buy it now because Daniel Smith Harvey is ever on sale ever and there were some colours in here that um, you can only buy in the 15ml tubes not the 5ml and I really wanted to try them but I didn't the 15ml ones are very expensive they can be nearly £20 just for one tube of paint and um, you know I don't have all the monies in the world to, to spend money on that. Um, so I saw some videos of people using this and I thought this would be great because it'd be limited palette and I could perhaps have a go at trying to do my own mixing and just having fun with it. So I do already unfortunately have a few of the colours in here. However, that's not really that unfortunate because it does mean I have more of that colour and I will use them. So the colours in here is Cascade Green, this one I already had, Green Appetite Genuine, and some of these are the Primatech, or, yeah, Primatech ones as well, which I think this one is, and they are quite expensive. Opera Pink, Quinacridone, Magenta, Imperial Purple, which is one of the ones I wanted to try, but you could only get in the 15ml tube. Nickel Azo Yellow, Aussie Red Gold, which was another one I wanted to get. Moon Glow, which I already had, Under Sea Green, which is another one I was thinking of getting, and Luna Blue, which I already have. So there were three in here that I already had. Um, which is fine. So basically those tubes that are in here, I obviously haven't squeezed out into half pans. So I have squeezed them into half pans. Um, but like, so as you can see, I have squeezed those. But um, yeah, this one, I haven't. So this is a brand new unopened one because I still have some left in my other tubes. So that's fine. Eventually when I need to, I will change it. I have used these in some of my colouring books as well because some of them are granulating so like the lunar blue is the moon glow is the cascade green appetite and undersea green those are all granulating ones so they have like three pigments i think in them two or three pigments so they're really nice so this is a really nice set and i have done some nice paintings and i've actually managed to make a red my mixing some of the colors and i can't remember which ones i mixed to make red but <laughs> i did make a red and I will show you so basically they're in here this is my miscellaneous tin of random brands and so they're in here and this is the red that I made which I could not believe so in the middle is the are the um Daniel Smith ones and I have them so I can see the names obviously so yeah those are all of the Daniel Smith ones because I didn't really have a tin specifically to have them on their own I mean I could actually put them in my rosy gallery ones so maybe i might put them in there but for now i stuck them here and i think i put magnets on the bottom so then these won't like move around these ones will because they haven't but these ones i thought oh i'll put a magnet on the bottom and then they'll stay in there so yeah that's quite cool so um yes that is my random selection in there um okay we'll go on to this bao hong paper so this i was so happy about so this paper is very, very difficult to get a hold of in the United Kingdom. And um, it's also 100% cotton, but it is also very cheap compared to other 100% cotton brands. Um, it's still not like the cheapest paper to buy in the world, but it's the cheapest out of all the, you know, really top brands of um, paper. And this is a big size, which is what I wanted. So I'm very pleased about that. And I have actually used 
it to do some paintings which is nice um so i'm hoping to do some more obviously because i think i do need to make sure i use this because i'm not quite i don't quite understand it but there's something called sizing with the paper now it doesn't mean the size of the paper but i think it means like how good the paper works <laughs> with your watercolors and if you leave the paper for too long so a couple of years and then try to use it you might find your paints don't work very well on it anymore so that's what i'm kind of gathering from people on the internet but anyway it's got very rough texture now i do want to get some more of this but in a slightly smoother one because i don't mind for watercolor but if i wanted to use gouache it's too rough so this is the grain fin or fine grain fine i think that's french um so it's really really nice so this is made in china so i got this from timu and this was the only thing i bought on timu i was not suckered into buying anything else with all their deals so i got this for about 14 pounds and usually in the uk you they do have it on jackson's but it's hardly ever in stock and this is a professional one by the way um this i think can usually go between 30 to 40 pounds which isn't too bad but um for 14 pounds i was like i'm buying this i was very tempted to buy two but then i thought the chances of me getting around to colour painting in in it is not, you know, I'm not going to do lots of paintings. So I thought, let's just get one for now, see how much I use it. And then I can always see if I can buy it again on Timu. And I did look at the reviews to make sure this was genuine and all that. So it's really, really nice that you can get that. You can get the Academy one on there as well, which is even cheaper. But I wanted the professional one because I thought, why not? But the Academy one's also 100% cotton and also supposed to be very good too so you can get that one a lot easier in the uk but i think it's about 20 to 30 pounds on amazon that i've seen and also on jackson's so i was rather pleased i was able to get this um for the price i did so woohoo so i'm very pleased i got that one and i have enjoyed using it right um so i'm just going to put some things in here that i had to the side that wouldn't fit in whilst I talk about the last few. So let's put those in here. Ooh. Right, so I did also get a, another sketchbook. So this is an Royal Talons Art Creation. So Royal Talons are the company that make the Van Gogh paints and also the Rembrandt paints, and they also do other things. And they make this range of sketchbook and they come in lots of different colors. I just really like the, the lilac one. So I picked it and it's called Art Creation. So if you want to, look it up it's royal talons art creation sketchbook um and they do different sizes as well this is an a5 one or nearly a5 it might be a bit smaller than a5 um but they do like i said different colors they do a square shaped one they do a bigger one like an a4 size one which i might actually get in the future so this i just bought as a mess around it does not matter if things turn out good or bad or i just want to try something out that was the idea of this one so I didn't have to worry about using the nice paper in my 100% cotton watercolour books for messing around in because only because they're not cheap <laughs> so I thought if I was something an idea that I didn't hear that turned out nice I could do it so I've used gouache on here and I thought I'd do some Harry Potter things I'm not going to show you everything um here's some just like watercolour that I've done recently and can I just show you the fact that it is not bled through and I use quite a lot of water and it's not bled through. It does walk the page. The paint, like, it doesn't spread as nice. I will say that. But it does take watercolour really well. And this is like gouache paint that I've used. So it, you know, you can have a little quick flip of my paintings. Um, but yeah, it has worked really well. And like, the point is, is that I've been able to mess around and not worry about things. And as I said, I've actually really just enjoy doing stuff in here and I wasn't thinking I can do mixed media things or I can do even try improve a bit of drawing because sometimes you need to draw to paint some of the things you want to do <laughs> so I can try that in there um so next I'll talk about this one because it's a bit easier to show so I know this is a white knight's tin it does not have white knight's paint in it the reason why I bought this is because it has lots of rows like the rose gallery one but as you can see from my bigger Rosa Gallery, it still had a space in the middle. This doesn't. This has got, and I'll show you, um, it has got rows. It has got loads of space in here. This is why I bought this, purely for that reason. Um, it was on Amazon, and I think it was about £30. It did come from 
Latvia or Lithuania, one of those countries. So it did take a while to come in the post. The annoying thing is though, is this does not lie flat. I'll show it this way. It does not lie flat, it sticks up. So I don't think this is very practical for mixing on. I can actually take this off. Lots of people actually um, take the hinge off here out and they take this off, but I don't know if I will, just because it kind of protects the paints a bit. So in here, our Holbein paints, which you will see in underneath. I bought some um, a set of 60. I needed a palette that would fit 60 in. I did not want two palettes to fit all of these in. This is why I got this tin, so I can fit all of them in here, plus one, two, three, four, five um, ones that did not come in the set. I have not put the whites in here that came in the set. I had two whites that come in, had come in here. I've not put them in pans, because my idea would be if I need to use the white, I can just get to it or use one of the other whites I've got money to the set. So, um, cause I probably, I don't really use white. I don't think I would not never use white. I just didn't see the point of me putting in here. And I also might take this gold and silver out, uh, if I want to put some more in here. So I have got space for two more. Wasn't sure what other ones I wanted, but I got these when they were on sale and I will show you the tubes in a second. Cause I got tubes apart from this one. This one wasn't tube, but it's kind of like <laughs> melted. It, and can you see like it's just slightly risen up like it wasn't like that it was like this one and um maybe because of the heat i mean it's not super humid where i live or anything um it is a bit on the wet and mild side so i don't know whether that has made it kind of gooey but these are quite sticky and they took a very long try time to dry where i live and i mean a very long time now i'm on the disadvantage that i couldn't leave it open like this to dry because i have cats and i do not want them to eat the paint so I think that probably was another reason why it took forever to dry. Um, and they re-wet quite well, I have to say. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. And I can show you a quick swatch of the paints. So here they are. And those are all the ones that you get in it. Um, and so Jean Brilliant, Lavender, Colver, Cobalt Turquoise, Bamboo Green and Queen Gold. Queen Gold are the new ones I bought. And I cannot be bothered to rearrange this to put them in the right places purely because these are really sticky and they just get all over your, my hands and I can't be bothered so they will just forever stay down there um but yeah I really like this set and I've used them for quite a few paintings already the greys are quite nice you've got a good range of greys there I did decide to keep the black in here in the end because I was thinking of taking that out um but I thought it'd be quite good for shadows or if I want to just darken some of the other paints so I have kept that one in there, but I will just show you the set. So I got the set on Amazon Japan because it was so much cheaper on there. Um, I think this is about 120, 130 pounds on Jackson's for 60. I got these for about under 60 pounds, <laughs> probably maybe about just on 60. So for each one of these tubes, it was maybe just slightly over a pound and they are normally about five pounds depending on the color you get but the basic colors are about five pounds so i think i got myself a really good deal now obviously with shipping and taxes it did make this a little bit more but um i bought this i bought the gouache and did i buy anything else or did i just buy those two things i think i just bought those two things and those two things i paid 20 pounds tax and shipping so even with the extra 20 pounds this still is cheaper them buying it on Jackson's art <laughs> so or um on Amazon UK which I think these are a bit harder to buy on Amazon UK you can get the small sets I don't know if I've seen the 60 on there but yeah these are all the colors and as you can see I've squeezed um them out into some half pans which I did buy some more half pans because I didn't have enough so I just bought some on Amazon um so yeah these whites I haven't squeezed out so I got Chinese white and titanium white and I just thought for the moment I don't need, need them so I've just left them there and I don't know how often I'll use the gold and the silver but I just thought I would give them a whirl so I kind of wish we only had one white and not these two in here would have been nice but there are some of the pastel ones in here which you get in the pastel set so I think the shell pink maybe the brilliant pink is one I'm not sure. And the Jean Brilliant, I think, is one as well. Uh, maybe Naples Yellow. Yeah. So some of these are from the set. The lavender that I bought separately is also in that pastel set. So you can just get a set of pastels if you want pastel ones. Or 
you can make your own by just adding white to it but yeah so i was so impressed that i managed to get all these <laughs> for that price so they don't always have these available by the way on amazon japan sometimes they are out of stock or like i was looking at the 48 originally and then it became unavailable so sometimes they're available to deliver to the uk sometimes they're not sometimes they're in stock sometimes they're out of stock so just keep checking and that's what i did and i did put them in my baskets for safer later so i could find them easier and i was just able to get these and they do sell whole buying palettes as well and i was going to buy one but i didn't have one for 60 if i'd had the 48 i would have gotten their palette for the 48 set but i decided to go with the 60 in the end so i will just show you the tube so this is the canacridone gold um bamboo green the lavender and the jean brilliant number one you do get the number two in the set there but i wanted a slightly paler one yes i could have just diluted the other one but i thought i'm just gonna they, these were in sale by the way when they had a whole buying sale i bought these and then i also bought the half pan which i could only get the turquoise in the half pan i could not get it in a tube so i did that um and then i did i got a couple of these i don't think i've shown these to you so i got forest gray which i have put them in half pans as well um haze pink because you can finally get the haze pink ones um the haze sorry range separate now you can only get them in the tubes though because you can they now do 5 ml tubes um, that you can buy on jackson's because before you could only buy the 15 ml or the half pounds but now you can buy the 5 ml which i think is better money for your money <laughs> than the half pounds um i got tundra uh tundra rose or tundra pink tundra pink that was one i've been wanting for ages um haze blue and forest olive and i did get some other half pans i think i got a volcano red and another half pan but i'll show you the swatches um because i don't i couldn't get tubes of those so i ended up getting them in the other one instead so uh, let me just put some paints back oh my goodness it's so scary i'm petrified of things falling um so if i go to my I find the schminker ones oh here we go right so here's the tundra pink um the haze pink and the haze blue which is quite nice and volcano violet that was the other one that I got so um oh and I had forest olive as well so there's only one forest one I don't have I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy every single one of the Schmincke granulating ones I'm just buying the ones I quite like um and they do granulate but it is best to use it on rough paper now this is just cellulose paper it's not expensive or great but it is quite textured so you can see the granulation the separation of the pigment some of them aren't as granulating like I found the deep sea green it didn't really look that granulating to me um but the rest of them you can quite obviously see that there are quite a lot of different pigments i only really like these two out of the haze set so i'm glad i did not have to buy the whole haze set just to get these two <laughs> so i was quite pleased about that um yes so that is those um and the last thing out of what i've got here to show you i will have some more in a little bit i just have to get them <laughs> but here is the last thing i've got here to show you so i have been wanting this mission gold um set for ages now it's 36 paints and they all come in 7 ml tubes and they all come in these boxes these all fit inside here and it came together as a set that way um, I have squeezed some of these out on into the palette here i decided again not to do the white but I did buy myself a Payne's Grey on Jackson's. And when you buy their ones, I think, I don't know if they'd sell the 7ml ones on there. But I don't know, I got the 15ml. Because I think, again, this was when there was a sale. So I bought this and it was like £5, I think. I don't know. So this is a Korean brand of paint. Um, they do various sets. But I wanted this one because it came with a case. And it's quite lightweight, I have to say. Um... 
and this is my little swatch card of all the paints. Um, this took me forever and ever to work out how to draw this because I am not good at maths. I cannot work out mathematical things. So this was really difficult. So you've got a lot of mixing space. And then I just put a little bit of each colour in the little wells. I could actually, I think I could, if I wanted to, I reckon I could put some half pans in here. So I have got, this is like a little set of 100 that I bought on Amazon. Um, because the other ones I had came with a Meaden thing. So I could put like, I wouldn't be able to put um, a magnet on it because it's plastic. But yeah, that would fit in there and I can close the lid. So nice, because <laughs> you've got this lid as well to mix in. So there's so much mixing space. So although I can only fit 36 in here, actually, now um, I've thought about it, I could add some extra colours if I wanted to, because there probably are a few colours I wouldn't mind. There wasn't a cobalt turquoise that I could find, because at the time I could only find this one that had white added to it, but since then I have discovered they do actually have one. So I might do that actually, I might add some more colours in, just like ones I think I would use. The idea again is that I can use this to mix and get to used to sort of like having a go. I mean, that being said, there are a lot of colours in here. <laughs> so um, I think, you know, with all the colours I have, I'm mixing some, I may not really need many more. But if I want to add an extra one or two colours, I can. Like a cobalt turquoise, I'm most likely going to want to buy and add. So I probably will get that one. But um, yeah, it's really nice. And the fact that I like the fact that you can you can just squeeze a little bit in rather than have like full pans. So I've not really had a set like that before. So this is quite nice. Um, and I think I got this on Amazon UK, and I've been watching it for ages and ages. And I think I maybe paid like sixty something pounds for it. Which is not bad for 36 colours. And this is all professional graded, um, rated paint as well. I don't know if it's necessarily the best professional paint in the world. But I like the colours and I thought for the price it was quite good. And yeah, I've obviously got all these here. So let me go and pop these away. And then I will get the colouring books that I have. The very few colouring books that I have. Not very many. Um just put these away right so <sighs> coloring books i got now this technically is like a coloring book but not a coloring book but i thought it would be quite useful now i had seen this before on some you um water what am i about on some colorists YouTube, I think some of the French ones, I have seen that they had this. And I was like, oh, this is cool, but I'm, you know, I thought, oh, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> and then since I've got interested in watercolor, and then I'm like, I'd love to paint some of the Harry Potter objects, they're really cool. And then I found, remembered this book and thought, oh my goodness, I should get this because it's got a step by step. <laughs> and it would be so helpful. So I decided to buy it. Um, it isn't like the best paper for watercolour but it will do the job for what you know for what I want it for it will do the job um so it does give you a step by step it's just a bit annoying that it's not next to the paint like the thing so here you go so I've got all the stages it tells you here what colours you need and the writing about what you it even tells you what colour what sort of brushes you want but you know so you can do a step by step of each thing then they have like difficulty here so this is like a medium difficulty this one is as well. I think the first one you can do is the hat, which I have done. Yeah, and this one is a one. So it's quite nice that they give you stages, but I've had to take photos to on my phone because I can't flip back. I mean, you can, but it's like, <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, I it's, it's not so bad to read the writing to flip back, but it's annoying like looking at the picture. So, um, ugh. Yes, I'll just do a quick flip. So there's lots of different objects that you can paint. I love the fact you can do all the sigils. That's quite cool. So I could also, you know, transfer these into my book as well. So there you go, there's my hat that I did earlier today. Um, but yeah, there's like loads and loads of things. I love that they, they have got another one, but it's got more creatures and things in it. 
whereas this one was objects. So I preferred this one to the other one. I wasn't as interested in the other one. So I got that on Amazon UK. I think it was about £13, something like that at the time. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. And the paper that they, the paper that is telling you, sorry, my cat's randomly eating something. What are you eating? Spies litter tray. <laughs> so hopefully no litter. So this paper here is different to the paper that you actually do the designs on. This is a bit thicker. It's a slightly textured, but it's not watercolour paper, but it is good for watercolour paper. So it is nice. I do like it. Um, and it's been fun. I finally did a picture in there because I've had that book for an absolute age. And <laughs> I finally actually did something in it. So I have got this one. So I am not actually interested in colour by numbers by any way, shape or form. However, I saw this on someone's channel and I was like, Hercules, I love Hercules. And then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to watch and see. What other pictures have they got in here? So they did do a flip. Now at the back it does show you the designs, which is nice because I want to know what they are. And there was a lot in here that I was like, oh, I like that. I like this one. I like that one. So I was like, you know what? I, I could get this. And you can see it's extremely detailed. So what I thought I would do is instead, and if you see my completed pictures for August, you will see this picture. So what I thought I would do is instead of doing it as a colour by numbers, I would still use the colours to help me know, but um, for this I based it in Neo Colour and went over the top in pencil to add shadowing, so I can colour like a normal picture that I would normally colour, rather than do it as colour by numbers, because, I mean, I think for some people, if that's what you like, that's absolutely fine, it's just I know for myself, I don't love the, her, the look of the just using felt tip pen on it, it's not for me, it's just not what I like. It's not how I want the pictures to look. Um, but if that's obviously what you like, it's totally fine. <laughs> just not like what I like. So I thought, you know what? Let's just buy this one because I really like the pictures in it. And let's have a go. And I'm rather pleased with how this came out. The background I just did Neo Colour to. I don't know if I'm going to do that all the time for all of them. I might just straight up just, you know, just use pencils and not base it with anything. But I like the idea of basing it and then colour over the top. Um, and there is like... Can you see that this is all meant to be outlined? So, oh, sorry, this is usually like a black or a brown or something. And you outline the design. But what I did with this is I just decided, I just continued the colour, like I coloured over it. So you don't have that in there. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. So I am actually tempted to buy a few more of these. I have got, a f oh, I can't remember which one of these I've got in my basket or on my wish list, should I say, on Amazon. Um, well, actually, it's in my save for later list. That's what I tend to do. <laughs> Not have a wish list. I put it in the save for later one, then just quick, like, go through there. Um, there's a stained glass window one that I really want. So I will get that one. And I also got this one. <sighs> I literally was like, I need to not buy any more Disney colouring books. Now, that one's different because it's a paint by numbers and it's like, or colour by numbers, so it's a bit different. However, I have so many that I have not coloured in in forever and I was like, I really should not buy any more. But then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I really want, <laughs> like I really wanted it. And I was like, I love seasonal colouring books and they just had some really nice pictures. So, um, like... Look at that, Tiana at Christmas. Like, when are you going to see her at Christmas? I actually really like this one as well. Sorry, my top just kind of got caught there. Um, so this is like winter, obviously. Autumn in here. This is still... Well, I think this is summer now. They're not in the right order, by the way. The summer and the spring are not in the right order. I know this because the Easter ones are for the... You know, so it goes autumn, then summer, then winter, and then spring. So I just love them. They're so cute. So I was like, I had to buy this. So this is actually a hardback book. Um, and it's the same size as like the Grand Classic Art Deco one, if you've got those. Um, so yeah, I had to buy that. Um, and yeah, I may end up caving and buying some more, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to colour the ones that I have. Okay, so I am back with a few more things that um, I got today. And this is like the last bit, um, bits of stuff for me to show you that I've purchased since February to August so <laughs> just a few things. So um, I ordered, because I saw from someone I follow on YouTube and she also has Instagram as well. She was saying about these um, art books, these sketchbooks by um, 
is a Canson. I think the Canson are the people that have made the sketchbook, but it's using Saunders Waterford paper, and it is a hundred percent cotton, and it was like eleven pounds something. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, getting a hundred percent cotton sketchbooks A five. <laughs> it's quite tricky. Like they are generally quite expensive. You can get. I think there are probably some cheaper ones. I don't know how good they are, but I know that this paper is meant to be really good. Um, so I decided to get two of them. So here's one, here's two. They are spiral bound, which I've never had before, but I was thinking the good thing about that, and there's also a massive, the thick elastic band. Um, the good thing about that, I thought was that, um, I can do landscape or portrait. So I know it's portrait essentially, but I, it'll be easier to turn the page because the only downside I've had with some of my, uh, cause before I got a portrait, sketchbook I had a landscape one and if I wanted to do portrait obviously I then ended up having to have this out and do it this way <laughs> or vice versa like if you have portrait whereas you can at least fold it so you can actually have it either and it makes it a lot easier so yeah and the paper seems quite nice it's got some texture to it it's not too textured but it should be nice so I was thinking um, I may decide to use one of them for gouache and one of them for watercolour um, and I was thinking that I would take this on my holiday because I want to do some painting and sketching and things of some of the buildings and stuff that I see um, when I go around so I thought that'd be quite nice and I did see that they have these on Amazon and they are like £30 so I was like, I am definitely getting these. So this, like I said, these are from Cass Art. Now, whether they still have these at that price, I don't know. I think their normal price, because it said normally £13 and it didn't have a lot off it anyway. So I don't know whether it is normally sold for £13 or not. And even £13 is pretty good. Um, but I didn't want to risk <laughs> the fact that maybe it wasn't. So I thought I would just buy them whilst I sold them for that price. But I'm hoping they usually sell them. Um... At about 13 pounds or so because then i can buy some more so i got those um i also because unfortunately buying these two it made it like 20 something pounds but then i had to pay like six pound shipping unless i spent like 50 pounds and then it was free shipping and then if i didn't it basically made it 30 pounds for the two and then i thought well really i'm not saving that much money i mean i didn't in theory, I guess I was, but you know, sometimes you're just like, I don't want to pay six pounds shipping. So then I had to buy some more things. So I bought these um, Windsor and Newton gouache just because these were on sale and I didn't know what else to buy. And I thought I didn't want to spend loads of money. So I bought these. I got a primary yellow and a marigold yellow. This seemed like quite a nice orange and I don't have lots of oranges in my sets I seem to have just have mostly like an orange orange or a very light yellow orange. I thought that would be quite nice. And then when I looked at what I had in my Windsor and Newton gouache, I didn't have like a yellow like this. So I thought, well, I'll just get it. So I got those two. I think they were like five pounds something. So they were a little bit cheaper than what they usually are. That also may be how much they generally are if I buy them in regular places. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and then I also got from Cass Art um, the Van Gogh pocket box. I have been um in and ahhing about whether to get this because I had it on my Amazon um, save for later list for ages and I nearly bought it a little while ago. And then I thought, no, no, it's fine. I won't get it. I won't get it because I was like, I'm debating about because I was debating about whether would I use it enough was what I was thinking um, but because again, I had to spend a certain amount of money, I thought, well, this was something I was thinking about. I'll have a look. It was, I think, £20 on there. And this is the 12 set plus three for free. So this is the 15 set altogether because you can just get a 12 on its own. Um, and I think at the time it was also like £2 more expensive on Amazon. Like it is now £16 on Amazon. So it is now slightly cheaper. But I remember when I was trying to get it before on Amazon. It kept saying I had to pay, even though I had over £25 worth um, of stuff I was buying, it kept saying I still had to pay shipping on it. So it depends on what seller you get it from on there now as to whether you have to pay for shipping on Amazon. So I thought it would just be easier to just get it from Castle. So um, you have 
these are all the normal colors you get the 12 colors and then you get these three other ones and then you get a water brush and this uh comes out so you can have a mixing tray so i haven't like swatched these out yet i have to say it's not like the smallest travel boxes it is kind of big i feel like those oh, let me see if i can get one <laughs> i was just like uh here we go Sorry, where I had my other ones, I was like, I'm definitely gonna, you know, knock stuff over. So this is like a normal size, one of these things. And it is a little bit bigger than this. Not massively, but it is a little bit bigger, just to show you. And um, you can with these ones. Now, I don't know about the Prima ones. Yeah, with these ones, you can obviously fit more in the middle. So technically, you could get more paints in this than you could in that. But I just thought... There's quite a lot of people that have said good things about Van Gogh paint. Um, so I just thought, why not? Why not try it? I have the Rembrandt professional paint and I really like the Rembrandt professional paint. So I thought I'd try the Van Gogh one. So we have a little Van Gogh on the front. Um, and here is the mixing palette and the paintbrush. So it is one that it has this really cool thing so this is what you use to lift up the palette so you can take this out so you can have mixing space here a mixing space here so that is a nice thing so i do find with the metal tins like the flappy one doesn't always lie flat so that one's a bit tricky to use so i do have a lot more mixing space so that is a plus from this and then i'll just put that down so you can see the brush so the brush you just take the top or wrong way around <laughs> you take the top out and then you can stick it like this so i don't know how good of a brush this will be but i will use it and doubtably because why not and then you can also use this end to get the paint out so you can get them out by like using it like this so you could change out the paint in here so they do have the paint names on um this label thing so i haven't taken it off because obviously on the back of the packet it just has the number it doesn't actually tell me the names of the paint and also like the pigment information is also on here as well so like pb15 and pw6 for this cerulean blue phalo so you know that's quite useful i have to say i'm not sure i'm gonna keep the white in here for now because i might use it but i don't usually use white that often so i will see there was some review i watched and they did use their white and then i was like you know what maybe maybe i should just give it a go so anyway that was the van gogh paint set um so i'll try that out in a little bit and then from uh this person called lizzie studio watercolors i ordered from her because i saw coloring k's haul and she had got some watercolor paints from her so I ordered a little set she doesn't have a lot on there at the moment <laughs> but this is these six here not this one not this gray one but these six here these are I think the extraterrestrial set and they um, are very, really cool actually so it says on here that everything's plastic free on the little note and the little pans are actually magnetic <laughs> or metal should I say because the magnet sticks to them without glue it's really cool and then I got this hollow one because I wanted to see if it was as good as the renaissance one and also it was a lot cheaper it was only five pounds so i got this one on its own it was like just over five pounds and then i think i paid 34 pound 50 i think maybe for these so they are quarter pounds so they're not four pounds um didn't have the option for four pounds but i thought that's fine i'll try the quarter pounds so she did seem to have quite a few colors of paint that were very similar to what i already had these ones i thought well unfortunately there were no swatches but from the look of them i thought they looked very different to what i have already so i will order them and hopefully, you know, I'll be pleased. And so I was. I'll show you the swatch because I have swatched those out. And they are beautiful. So she did also send me these samples. So I've got Artemis 2, Roller, and then Adara. So, and they are the first three. Now, I do have paints very similar to those. The Artemis 2 one, I think, I'm not quite sure if I've got any that are. So... This one, maybe in the future I might buy, but these two 
I definitely have some like that. But um, yeah, so um, by the way, I crossed it out because on the bottom she put the magnet over the name so I couldn't read it. And then accidentally my ma my paints were too close to each other and then they connected. And as I pulled them off, I realised I could move the magnet around. So then I was able to see the names. We've got Roswell, Ripley, Vogan, which I'm not sure what that is. Rendlesham, I googled, turns out. It's a forest where there was a UFO sighting. <laughs> Nebula, I don't know what GJ is. And then this is the Holly one. The Holly one won't seem as glittery without direct sunlight on it because it looks so glittery in it. But I was so pleased with those colours because I do not have any colours like uh, these ones here. So I am pleased I have some new ones. And also they're quite different as well to what I have. Um, yeah, they're really, really nice. So I recommend. So Lizzie's Studio Watercolours. That's the name of her Etsy. Um, she's just come back from holiday because I had to wait until Monday for her to send those because I ordered them a while ago. Um, but I got them today, which is quite nice. So yeah, um, I think she sold out of quite a few things. So hopefully now she's back from holiday, she'll stock up with some more things because I think there was a couple more sets I'm interested in maybe getting but obviously until she has those <laughs> I don't even know what they are but there was a set that was very similar to the renaissance color ones the um west end ones so they were very similar colors um because undoubtedly you can there's only so many different colors of you know paint that you can make so um, you know it makes sense that some are going to be similar <laughs> to her ones um so I still think Renaissance colour ones are pretty good, but you can be the judge of which ones you prefer. Anyway, that was everything that I have got for the past six months. Oh my gosh, yeah, it would be six months, which is not too bad. Quite a few things, um, as you can see. I do think I want to try and try my best to buy a bit less the rest of the year. Whether that will happen, I don't know. <laughs> But it would just be good just because I can then use the things that I've bought. That is primarily why do you think I should try not to buy much more paints? I probably will buy a few here and there, but I'm going to try to not buy too many and really try and use what I have. Oh, and another reason why I thought I'd get this is because I could actually practice mixing and not have the fear of if it goes wrong. Well, it's fine because it's not that expensive paint. So I'm going to try and experiment with mixing with this one. <laughs> Alright, so that's everything and I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye!